Good morning, Langley Leopards. Today for art class, we are going to make a symmetrical insect. And today you're going to need a pair of scissors and one piece of construction paper. So today's project is a little more complicated than others, but I know you can do it. If you are my kindergarten first or pre-K art friends, you might want to ask your parents if they can help you with this one. Or might they might want to make one too. So today, what you're going to do first is you're going to take your construction paper. I just have regular size construction paper, and I want you to hold, fold it like a hot dog. All right, so fold it like a hot dog like this. Now, you have an open side and a folded side. The folded side is the side that you are going to draw half of your insect starting from. So I'm gonna move my computer down so you can see. And my folded side is right here. You see the fold? So I'm gonna draw half of my insect starting from the folded side. And I'm gonna start at the top because if you start in the middle, you would waste all that space. So I'm gonna start with the head. Now, since we are making it symmetrical, we're only going to draw half on this one side, okay? So I'm gonna start with kinda of half of my head. And then I'm going to make my body kind of lumpy and bumpy. All right, so that is half of my insect. Now I'm going to make an antenna. And when you make your extra little parts of your insect, of your insect, of your bug, do not make them too skinny or they will uh, fall apart when you cut them out. So there's another one, maybe this one, I'm gonna have go up here. Maybe this one is gonna be like short little spikes coming from my insect and then maybe you'll have one here and then another one here all right so this is what half of my insect looks like okay now when you cut on your insect today you are only gonna cut on the outside so follow my finger it's gonna go here and then up here and here if I cut here my antenna would fall apart and you don't want that so you want to cut only on the outside okay so if you watch while I'm cutting I'm gonna start here and look how I'm not cutting on the inside okay I'm only gonna cut on the outside and you want to keep it folded too so that way you have your symmetrical insect and we know that symmetry means equal on both sides the same on both sides so the fold is my line of symmetry and I'm cutting on the outside see how I'm only cutting on the outside I'm not cutting on the inside I'm going to stop talking so I can go a little bit faster. And I'm just holding it really good. I hope everybody is doing okay. I sure do miss you guys. I hope you're being good for your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. And you're listening and you're reading. You guys can email me if you have any questions or if you need me for anything, okay? I sure do miss you. All right. So... I'm almost done. And my insect is not realistic. He's from my imagination. Let's see what he looks like. Are you ready? There's half and there's the whole thing. Oh, he's cute. Okay, so now, of course, if we left him like that, that would be boring. So I'm going to work on this side. And since I said he's from our imagination, we are just going to be creative. I think I'm gonna, but I'm gonna keep him the same on both sides. So I think I'm gonna do one, two, a big eye in the middle. All right, and then inside, he's just gonna have little eyes. All right, maybe for his mouth, he'll have a, Exactly, mouth. He's not going to be mean. He's just going to be weird. Maybe I'll go like this so it looks like his mouth is open. Yeah. All right. And then I can make him have some spikes so people wouldn't want to touch him. He's going to be a 
dangerous insect, okay? And then for his body, maybe I'm going to make him have, he's going to be silly. So maybe he's going to have like some diagonal lines that go this way. And then maybe diagonal lines this way. Oh, he does look silly. All right, and then maybe down at the bottom, he's going to have some swirls. I could even put some clothes on him if I wanted to be really silly on my insect. And then maybe on my legs, I'll put little lines to look like he has hair on his legs. So after you're finished, your insect, of course, I did not finish this one, but there's my unfinished one. And here's my finished one. So I just took my insect and did lots of lines and patterns on him. He has lots of little legs down here. You could put wings on your insect. I can't wait to see these. I love to do this project with my second and third and fourth graders sometimes, and sometimes even fifth grade, just to see how silly they can do. So do this project at home. Have fun. Share pictures with me. I love you. I miss you. Stay safe.